Episcopal, Episcopal Church. Yeah, good. Yeah. Wow, nice. So this is yung pinaka Episcopal Church natin. Wow. Awesome. I had a friend that, actually a friend of my brother's that came up to visit one year and she wanted to come to a service. And you know, they welcome, they welcome um, outsiders to come into the service. And she said, the incense almost knocked her over. <laughs> but she actually was here the next Sunday and she went again. So this is Welcome to St. Michael's Russian Orthodox Cathedral. Now, you know, looking at this cathedral, you're probably thinking, how could Sitka, I mean, why does little Sitka have this cathedral? But you know, by 1808, we were known as New Archangel, we were the capital of Russian America, and we were the headquarters of that Russian America Fur Company. So Bishop Innocent was here. He allowed the, the Finns to build their church first, which is Kitty Corner over here in 1840. Then they built the Bishop's House uh, for Bishop Innocent, 1841. And then 1844 is when the Finns started building this cathedral. It took four years to build it built out of Sitka spruce. Uh, it's laid out in the form of a cross. Uh, they have the three altars here. Um, and I'm sorry, you can't see the main sanctuary here. But the one over here on the far left is dedicated. You can see where the flowers are. And then that icon that's right up above it is Lady of Sitka. Uh, she is, or Lady of Kazan, Lady of Sitka. She is a wonder working icon. And they believe that if you say a prayer um, that she cures uh, that she cures illness yeah, but specifically mm. of eyesight mm. Yeah, mm. she travels right all on. over the world i am always amazed over the years of doing tours how many people come here and they know that she's here mm -hmm. and they come solely so that they can pray mm -hmm. you know say a prayer uh, and light a candle and then uh, for someone so the main sanctuary here is dedicated to saint michael the archangel yes and please Please, feel free to wander. And this one over here is dedicated uh, to Bishop Innocent. So in 1962, it became a national historical landmark the same year as the Bishop's House. Good thing, because four years later, in 1966, there was a horrible fire. It was one of the worst fires ever they hit Sitka here. And the Wells Fargo Bank that's over here on the border was a dry goods store. And it was a furnace fault. And once that furnace got going, or the fire got going, it burned through town, burning the Lutheran church down, St. Michael's, and a third of St. Louis But locals came running, and they formed human chains out that main door, and they managed to pass out icons and treasures. Oh, wow. So what you're standing in today, you know, the building itself is an exact replica of the original cathedral. Mm, yeah. The royal doors here are wooden painted gold mm. to the main sanctuary. They were saved. It was a Christian that came in with a crowbar, managed to unhinge it, and he got them outside. He carried the doors out one at a time, I'm sure, out, uh, out of the door. They had about 20 minutes. History says from the time that the embers started hitting the roof, they had about 20 minutes to get was actually saved. Um, the icons on either side of the royal doors were saved. It's easy, you just kind of push on the icon and they pop out. Mm -hmm. The scroll work and the framing uh, that you see was lost. Mm -hmm. uh, it was just so attached they couldn't get it off. Now Bishop Innocent was quite um, the missionary. You know, historians really gave him a thumbs up and say he was very good just with the native people. Um, he was a carpenter as well. And so he was the one who actually you know, designed the church in the, in the form of the cross. But also, um, he made the scroll work and the framing. This icon over here was saved in its entirety the, with the, the scroll work and the framing. 
that whole entire unit. So they use those pieces in order to reconstruct all of these that you see here. The Last Supper is always the icon that's above the royal doors in these churches. And it filled that whole half circle. But it was lost in the fire. It was so attached to the wall, they couldn't get it off. Uh, so it was lost. The very last item that got saved was the chandelier. Mm -hmm. And it was a prisoner that came in here, stacked some benches, managed to, and there were two other people that came in with him, and, you know, get up on some benches, unhook it, handed it down to those two other men, and they got it outside. Wow. It later took six men to pick it up wow. and carry it to a storage location. It was a So you Russian Orthodox Archangel Church during the Russian um, time. Uh, to yung uh, ng Russian Orthodox. Makita mo dito. Kita mo yung upuan na yun. Bishop got it all wrong. And the cathedra uh, is, uh, is a throne, the bishop's throne. And when, bishop, uh, when the bishop comes to town, this is where he conducts services. Bishop Innocent was the one who gave it. He caught it. That is the original mm -hmm. from that time period. So typically, men stand on one side of the cathedra and the women and children stand on the other side. And again, mm -hmm. it's standing services because they believe that, you know, you would never kneel or sit in front of royalty, so you shouldn't do it in front of God. Mm -hmm. So standing service is over. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's cool. The choir in those days, a new archangel, this is quite the shipyard. So they had a lot of sail cloth. Okay. So yeah. for acoustics and for temperature control, they, they, for insulation, they use sail cloth. Okay. And so right now, I mean, now you're looking at a church. And this was, and I didn't know this till last year because I never really looked at it before. But, you know, this is, this well, they rebuilt this. Okay, they rebuilt this cathedral. It took about 10 years to rebuild this. Um, and so the outside is an exact replica, but it is made out of concrete and steel today. But again, the insides are the real treasures. But the state fire marshal said you have to have fire retardant material instead of that seal cloth. And so that's what this is. They wanted something to replicate what they used to have. Mm -hmm. And so it is. It used to be white. But because of candles and mm -hmm. incense, mm -hmm. it has turned. Okay, so I was talking to my husband one, uh, one night at dinner, and uh, well, I talked to him more than that. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we were. Our dad kind of came out, and it was kind of weird. But anyway, we last year we were talking, and somebody had made a comment to me about the fire inside here, and I was, and oh, I said, something like, "Well, this will never catch fire." Do you sent na? Pili ka mag-pray dito na nakapag pagaling ng eyesight. Pangalan nun, Our Lady of Sitka. Ayun. Our Lady of Sitka. Galing pala siya dito. Pili ka mag-pray uh, dito. si pati Our Lady of Sitka. Ayan, dinadayo dito yung mga turista uh, mag, mag uh, pray lang sa Lady of um, Sitka. Yun pala, ito dito yun sa Sitka o Alaska. Ito yung mga peanuts at cross dito. Ito yung simbahan ng Russian Orthodox. Uh, 1700s.
come into Sitka Sound and then wash in under the Little Russian Church that's now Russell's uh, Gisborne. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah, and all the buildings on this side of Lincoln Street were all on pilings, so it just kind of washed in. And so they considered that to be the first miracle. Miracle, yeah. Mm -hmm. land is because they had over 100 of sea otter to the other station. Mm -hmm. Russia and the United States were actually kind of friends. And, you know, they were trying to help each other. Nobody wanted Great Britain to get their hands on this. Great Britain wanted this land as well. Mm -hmm. the, the rest of the world at that time. <laughs> what? I said Great Britain had the rest of the world at that time. Yeah, the only thing about that is like, oh, they got a little greedy. <laughs> um, but, um, anyway, so we were trying to help them. They didn't want great work, they have it. Uh, and so we started negotiating with them. And um, they agreed to they agreed to sell. And so the cost was $7.2 million. It was $7 for the land, which came up to about two cents an acre. Wow. Um, but Swan Lake, one way to, to diversify the economy here was to sell ice. That lake would freeze over in the wintertime. And they had horse-drawn saws. They would chop it up into blocks of ice, wrap it in sawdust, and ship it down to San Francisco. <laughs> Sunny San Francisco. Uh, and so the Russian-America company that was here was furious at losing out on that contract. They didn't want to sell. This was the Tsar's idea to sell the land. So they made the United States come up with that extra 200000 And that's where you get the 7.2. So we bought it on uh, March 30th, 1867, but the formal transfer was not until October 18th. Mm -hmm. And if you ask Clinton, even today, they say the Russians never gave him a choice, you know, and, never, and, and neither did Americans. So the American period kind of waltzed in. And, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. Any questions? Do you Russian Orthodox Church na, na punta natin sa, sa loob ito yung sa labas na uh, area uh, 1700 kaya napaka historical ito yan uh, saka kikita mo yan buong uh, simbahan na yan saka uh, napaka taas dyan lahat na yan Okay, I could walk you back. 